Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to be walking you through setting up refresh tokens with our new Shano snippet. Now, this tutorial assumes you've already got an app which uses an authentication, authenticated backend. How, if you have not set this up, I would strongly recommend you do that now. That being said, let's get started. First things first, you're going to want to open up your Jano account and navigate to the API collections on the left. Once you've done that, navigate to the API group default auth and then scroll down to the uh, request auth token. Make sure you keep this page open as we are going to be jumping back and forth between this page. First things first, we're going to want to copy our endpoint URL and then we want to want to open our app in Bravo Studio. I've already gone ahead and done so. So here is my configured app and here is the collection which this app is linked to. So the first thing I'm going to do here is make a new request and call this let's see refresh token like so. Change the URL to the URL we copied and change the HTTP verb to post. So now the next step is to set up the body of this request, which we can do quite simply by going back to Shannon, going to this request, the auth token request, hitting run and debug and copying the body, which is found here. Once we have that body, we go back to uh, Bravo Studio and go to the refresh token request, select body, JSON, and paste in this refresh token body. Now we're going to want to assign a variable here. So let's go ahead and do that. We do that by typing in double sign, curly brace, refresh token, curly brace. What this will do is it will create a variable called refresh token, which we can reference later on. The next step would also be to go to test values and just type in refresh token in here. And now the, another, now the next important bit is if you already have an account, which I do, that has uh, details within Chano, you can go ahead and click on your login. Uh, you can go ahead and click on your login request and then hit send. What this should return you is a refresh token, which you can use in this request. So if I go ahead to go to debug and then to refresh token, I'm gonna copy all of the body here from quote to quote without including them. I'm going to copy this, go back to my refresh token and then go back to my test values and put in my refresh token here. Now, what I'm going to want to do is hit send to confirm this endpoint works. And would you look at that? We're getting some data back. However, when I select this and we go to selected data, you're gonna notice the name is access token. I'm gonna to leave this as is for now, but you'll find out that this is incorrect. Now, with all the setup, let's head back to our, uh, our app and go to integrations. As I've said before, I am assuming you've already got your custom login, so custom authentication set up, and all of this has already been done. If not, please make sure you have similar, if not the same settings to, uh, to what I do right now. Now, we're gonna scroll down to the re uh, select refresh token part, select our collection, select the collection with the refresh token request in it, select the request, so in my case, it's the refresh token, but in your case, it's whatever you named this re request to, and there we go. Now, as you can see at the bottom here, it, it states that the variable or the uh, the data that it returns has to have a name called access token. Our access token has a lowercase t, so we're going to go have we're going to have to go ahead and fix that. So as you can see, I copied it to my clipboard. Let's go back to um, let's go back to Bravo Studio's request and then go down to here to your selected data and change this variable name here from access token to access token with a capital T. Now we wait for and uh, now we can see it's been saved. So if we go back to here, as you can see, it turned green, which means we're all good to go. And if we hit save, that's been saved and that's it. Now, if you have followed all the steps correctly, your app should automatically refresh the authentication token and keep your users logged in for as long as they need to be. Thank you for listening.